Hello, so do you hate drum machines? Well, I sort of do, but I'm coming round to a new one that's not so bad. I go back a long way with drum machines because I tend to play the guitar and try to sing on my own with no backing musicians. A couple of times I've been with some musicians, but generally do it on my own. And after four or five songs, you can finger pick, you can strum, and it gets a bit boring. You need something in the background. So I've flirted with drum machines. Probably one of the best ones I've ever used is the, is the Beat Buddy. But it's a drum machine. And it's basically for rock bands or pop bands, I think. Um, I mean, it's got its own card, so you can download, you can actually download different options. And it's endless, the number of options that you can use. I, I agree, it's a very clever little machine. Uh, but it's a, it's a drum machine, and it's no good for me. I tend to sing sort of folky, country world music songs and I don't need Crash Band Wallop all the time or ever really. So the Beat Buddy, so there you go and then of course more recently I got a trio and this is a fantastic toy, good fun for practicing because a trio is a drum machine and a looper at the same time. So I guess you can use this on stage if you want to show the audience what you're doing and the audience is entertained by watching you build up a song, that's okay. But if you just want to go on stage with a backing track that you can actually launch into, then this is really not the thing. But the great thing about this is that you can hit the button, plug it in, hit the button and then strum a song. Disciplined, keep it right because the machine is actually learning from your song. And then hit the button again and it actually creates, it makes... Um, a drum track for you and also makes a bass guitar track too so together when you play it back suddenly magically you hear uh, the, the drums and you hear the bass guitar which you can make a simple bass line or a more complicated and you can mess around with it once you've made it then if you want it to be a little bit faster a bit slower great you can do it or you can change it you know from rock to pop to metal to Hip hop, and you can mess around with it so much, different styles, and yeah, you can turn down the bass, turn down the drums, turn up the drums, turn down the bass, turn off the bass if you don't like it. Um, this is the only thing I, the only slight criticism I have with the trio is that the bass line doesn't always seem to be accurate. I don't know why, perhaps it's me that's not tuning my guitar exactly right, um, but anyway, but it's great fun. It's a great practice tool if you write songs and or you want your own trio. It's here. That's what it's called. The band, band in a box. So yeah, I've had fun with this, but it's not really for using on the stage. So to my latest acquisition, you must think I've got a lot of money, but I haven't. Um, and here it is. I don't know if you can see it. If I move this up a little bit so we can get a bit closer. Um, yeah, it's the um, Boss uh, DR-01S and it's um, the Rhythm Partner, as they call it. And you see it's a strange thing, it's, um, it's got its own speaker, a 4 inch speaker, and all the controls are here. And the great thing is it's basically made for folk musicians and world music musicians, people who don't want a full drum machine, just want individual percussion instruments, they might want some, you know, shakers and God knows what, or they want one like Cowhoon where you sit on the drum and you whack it. And so it's got lots of options. And the great thing about this, I'll, I've plugged it in and I'll sort of, okay. The top one is a shaker, maracas. There it goes. Then you can add tambourine. And you can add bongo drum take the bongo drum off, add a conga drum, take the conga drum off, add a cajun, hitting, yeah, um, okay, take that off, it's also got a full drum kit, so you can add, you can add drums as you would, uh, I've dismissed that, don't use that at all, um, you can change the timing, you can change it from 3-4 to 4-4 to 6-8, you can uh, make, the make it faster or slower with the tempo buttons, the volume buttons, variation. Uh, you change the time signature with the beat button. It's all in the booklet here, which is quite 
comprehensive but simple because I, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly a gifted when it comes to technical things and, and I can follow it. Um, okay, so let's assume that you've messed around with this and you've played your guitar and you've got a nice backing, nice atmospheric backing track that you really like. It's just soft and just nice and just some, helps your music and then you want to save it because you want to use it on, on stage. Then you can use the favourite button, you press the favourite button and using the variation buttons here you can save up to 50 tracks. So you, number one, you just press the favourite again, it saves it. Um, and the great thing is that if you use it and then you think, oh I like it but uh, I don't know, the maracas are too loud aren't they? You can actually um, edit that track and resave it um, because it, with each individual instrument, percussion instrument, you can make it louder or softer individually and so that's great isn't it because if you don't if you think this particular drum type is a little bit too loud you just turn that one down leaving the others at the same volume and it's really clever so you can get it perfect so you're saying yeah you're on stage you can't be messing around with your fingers because you're playing the guitar and it's true you can't so when this arrives in its trendy little box uh, you realize that you have to buy a foot switch <laughs> a boss foot switch an FS5U, an FS6, FS7 what they call them and it'll probably cost you 40 or 50 euro. Um, but this, together with the foot switch, is still cheaper than the beat buddy. Uh, so yeah, so you buy your foot switch and then you can train your foot switch, and it's not difficult, it's all in the book here, to actually take over the controls here. So your foot switch can actually not only take over your stopping and starting of your, um, of your backing track, but also you can change instruments as you're playing along. Really clever. Very, very, very clever. Um, so yeah, you've got a power button, then you've got your, your on off here. And of course, at the moment I've got it plugged into uh, a little amplifier, but it sounds okay. Not for the stage, it doesn't, but it sounds okay through this speaker. It's quite loud too, funny enough, uh, for practicing. So you don't really need an amplifier. But you do need the um, foot switch, and it's great. <laughs> It's the best thing I've seen because it's it's perfect for me. It's what I like. I don't like the bang, crash, bang, wallop of a beat buddy. I know the beat buddy can have your world music uh, backing, but it's not the same as this. This is actually a dedicated um, um, rhythm partner, as they call it, for a folk singer or for a, somebody who likes to play uh, music with that goes with you know um, your softer softer percussion sounds um, so yeah so you can make some great tracks you can, you can save up to 50 and you're not going to have a gig list longer than 50 I don't think and um, and you can call it up very quickly call have a little book or your little or your smartphone that tells you number 15 on here is whiskey in the jar and number 8 is Scarborough Fair or whatever and you very quickly get the backing track up and you go into your Scarborough Fair with a nice you can count in Yeah, you can count it. You can have a whatever counting you want. You can have a counting with drumsticks. Well, there's different countings. You can have a voice, a human voice counting you in if you if you prefer it. Uh, it's got some special effects on here. It's got uh, the wind, birds. Uh, and I don't know if you're going to want to use them or not, but maybe you do if you're recording. Maybe you want something. Um, I don't know. But it's got so many different, um, so many different. Uh, combinations that you can use and you can adapt all the different uh, instruments as I've said that's the good thing about it just wanted to show you this because I think it's not new it's it's been out since about 2017 but it's new to me and I just think it's a um, an interesting thing I think it's a clever ploy to appeal to a different set of musicians um, yeah so there we are I know it's not an in-depth um, video on how to use it but trust me it's not that difficult. I'll speak to you again. Bye.